Hey YouTube, this is Edward Underhill and I'm here with my last uh, mail call, mailbag video, whatever you want to call it, um, mail series uh, video unboxing for the year of 2016. Um, and um, I am going to have a couple of store pickup videos as well after coming after Christmas, but this is my last um, video that I'm going to do that's going to be stuff that I've gotten from online retail stores. So. We've got a couple packages here from Amazon and two boxes from Ringside Collectibles. And I've gotten this stuff over the course of a couple of days. And I figured instead of doing, you know, three uh, separate videos and all this stuff, I figured I'd just do it as one video. Um, so we're going to start off with the Amazon stuff first, and then I'm going to do the Ringside boxes last. Um, but I'm going to set the camera down and open up these uh, two Amazon packages. So, uh, starting off with the first one, which is actually the last item that showed up, is uh, Global Warning Tour uh, 2002. Um, uh, this was a fairly cheap DVD. I think it was like 19 or 20 bucks. Um, it's one I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, I have quite a few of the 2002 shows. I don't know at this point if I'm going to get uh, Royal Rumble, No Way Out, Backlash. Judgment Day, King of the Ring, uh, Unforgiven, and Rebellion or not, I might get the yeah, others. Um, Judgment Day is probably going to be the tough one to get, along with the uh, WWF ones, but I did want to get this. It was fairly cheap. Um, but yeah, looking forward to giving this a watch um, when I get the chance. So that's Global Warning Tour uh, 2002. You got Rock, Brock Lesnar, Stacey Keebler, and Triple H on the cover. Next up, we have uh, WrestleMania 3. This is the uh, Championship Edition DVD that was released, I think, back in 2007. But um, I have pretty much most of the WrestleManias. I have 15 through 32 already, so it's pretty cool to have WrestleMania 3 in my collection now. Um, this is another one DVD that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while now, and I finally pulled the trigger on it. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the other... Uh, the first uh, few WrestleManias go um, 1, 2, and then 4 through 14. I might get the individual DVDs or I might get, just get the anthology box set, but this is pretty cool. Um, pretty basic cover. You just got the WrestleMania 3 logo and then you got the uh, the date, the, the venue, and then you got the main events. But yeah, really looking forward to checking this uh, show out. So yeah, just the two DVDs from Amazon, and now let's get into the ringside stuff, guys. Uh, we'll start off with this one just because I opened it um, when I got it yesterday to make sure it wasn't a duplicate of this, which we'll get to in a few minutes. So starting off, we have... The Elite Series 46, uh, Finn Balor from Beast in the East when he faced uh, Kevin Owens for the NXT Championship and won it. Um, as you guys know, if you've seen my previous um, ringside unboxing videos, I do have the Elite 41 Finn Balor, and it's an outstanding figure. Um, I do feel really bad for people who weren't able to get that figure, but I do am glad that Mattel did release this version. Um, I've watched that match on YouTube. Um, and it's a great match if you haven't seen it. Um, I know it's on the NXT's Greatest Matches Volume 1 DVD, but take a look here at the figure. It is packaged backwards. Um, my only minor complaint really with this figure is that they don't have a window on the back so you can see what he looks like from the front. But um, one thing about the Elite 46 box um, that I do like is that they are putting the series numbers on it. Um, if you go back and you look at... Um, Elite Series 39 through 45 in this style of box. Um, they don't have the series numbers on them. So I'm glad that Mattel is putting that back on there. Um, and of course he comes with a piece of the of the exclusive diorama, which they're now including with their figures. But yeah, I really do like this figure. Um, and he comes with his demon headdress and his demon wrist gauntlets. I think they're the same ones that come with the Elite 41 figure. They might be painted a little bit differently. I could be wrong. And uh, they did change up how they do the stats on the back as well. And then you got the other figures in the set. 
and you got the uh, diorama. So yeah, that's the Elite 46 uh, Finn Balor. Next up we've got uh, Booker T. And uh, Stevie Ray, uh, the uh, Harlem Heat Elites. Um, I did not watch WCW when it was around. However, I do think these figures look really good. Um, yeah, just really nice figures. I think anybody who grew up with WCW is going to want to pick these up. Um, but they each come with a pair of sunglasses and two do-rags, which is pretty cool. And I was very curious as to how Mattel was going to do the singlets um, when these were shown off in the digital prototype renders at Comic-Con. Um, and I think they turned out really good. Um, they are very cool. And here we take a look at a CB Ray really quick. So yeah, those are my figures from Elite 46. Um, I might get Rusev and Sheamus at some point down the road. Um, the Cena, I think, is cool, but I have the Elite 46 Cena, and I'm perfectly happy with that figure. I think it's um, pretty much going to stand as the definitive Cena in my collection for the time being, unless we get one from WrestleMania 23 uh, with his uh, green camouflage attire that he wore around that time. But yeah, that's my Elite 46 figures, and we have some more figures in this box. Starting off, we have the Defining Moments Ultimate Maniacs uh, Ultimate Warrior. Uh, this, of course, is meant to go with the Elite 44 uh, Ultimate Maniacs Randy Savage, which I do have. Really do like this figure. Um, he comes with his uh, sunglasses. And I don't know if, the, if the, uh, the wrist cuffs are removable or not, but I do like the paintwork on this figure. Again, I didn't grow up with the Ultimate Maniac, so this is um, a little bit of uh, unfamiliar territory with me, but I do think this figure is really good. I do love the uh, the Legends, uh, the Lost Legends Warrior figure, which as you guys know I have if you've seen my previous videos again. But this is from the Defining Moments series. But yeah, that's the uh, Ultimate Maniacs Ultimate Warrior. Next up we have the Defining Moments uh, Basic Thugonomics John Cena. Now if you guys have seen Burnout Inc.'s uh, Male Hall of Pain video series, uh, the first episode that he did, there were a lot of things about this figure that he didn't like, and I do agree with him. There are some things that I think Mattel could have done better with it. But in terms of what I do like, the visor the chain and lock and the word life knuckles I think look really cool um, the face scan I think is okay um, I'm not a massive fan of the scowl look on the face um, but otherwise else besides that I think the face is okay and the the jersey is the other thing I wish that the jersey was fabric like the original defining moments figure that came out I think back in 2010 or 2011 whenever the the original defining moments John Cena came out um, that one I know had a fabric jersey, because um, I know if uh, Burnout Inc. and Watt figures both have it. I do wish this jersey was fabric, and also, it's kind of hard to tell, but it does have the old circle snaps on it, as opposed to the uh, rectangular ones that a lot of the more recent figures have. But other than that, I do think this figure's okay. Um, again, the Elite 40 Cena does currently stand as the definitive uh, modern-day John Cena of my collection. I really wanted to get this just because I want to get the rest of the Defining Moments figures from the relaunch. And the sneakers look really cool as well. And there you got the side of the box. So yeah, that is the Defining Moments Basic Thugonomics John Cena. And last but not least out of this box we have an amazing Defining Moments figure, which is the Nature Boy Ric Flair from WrestleMania 24 when he had the uh, career-threatening match against the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Um, I really do love the first Defining Moments Ric Flair. Um, it's one of my favorite figures that I own, but this figure is absolutely amazing. I know G Natty 97 had a few complaints about it, namely in terms of the uh, the torso Mattel used, um, the placement of the initials on the tights, 
and the knee pads. But other than that, I do think this figure is amazing. This robe, oh my god, it is gorgeous. Um, anytime Mattel does fabric robes for their figures, they knock it out of the park. And needless to say, they did with this flare figure. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing uh, fabric robe. I am really looking forward to the Defining Moments uh, Shinsuke Nakamura that's going to be coming out in uh, early 2017. But yeah, this pretty much completes my Defining Moments collection for the time being. I have the first Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Razor Ramon, Sting, Undertaker, Stone Cold, Surfer Sting, and now Warrior Cena, and the second Ric Flair. So that was the first box, and so now I'm going to set the camera down and open up the second box. Okay, so starting off, we have this lovely pamphlet from Ringside, which looks really nice. Um, you got Finn Balor, AJ Styles, Asuka, and NWO Wolfpack Sting on the front. I've got at least a, about a dozen of these pamphlets, now I'm willing to bet, but and they're cool to have. Um, just gives you like an update of what's available and what's been out for the last several months. So starting off, we have the Elite Series number 47 Cesaro. Um, I missed out on the previous two Cesaros from Elite 23 and Elite 33, so I was really looking forward to this one when it was announced. Um, and he does come with a lot. He comes with the Cesaro section sign, his uh, head towel, the headphones, and uh, his red uh, shirt. Uh, this is Elite 47A, uh, by the way, for anybody that's wondering. And this series I pre-ordered, and you'll understand why when we get to the uh, last figure of the set. Again, it comes with the diorama piece. And he also has the new uh, Raw logo on the top of the box, which is really cool. But yeah, I really do like the way this Cesaro figure looks, and it does go really well, I think, with the Elite Series 40 Tyson kit if you have that figure. Next up we have the big boss man in his uh, SWAT attire from the Attitude Era. And um, as you guys know, if you've seen my previous videos again, I have the Network Spotlight series release um, that I got in a trade with Brownout Inc. Again, thank you sir for that. Um, which was a re-release of the Elite 14 figure. But um, I really do like the way this figure looks. Um, he comes with his sunglasses, his ski mask, um, the handcuffs and the nightstick, and I do like this new face skin. I think it looks really good. Um, it looks like they reused the Elite Series 25 Dean Ambrose's vest for this figure. I might be wrong. I have to take a look at both figures side by side to make sure. But he pretty much does reuse a lot of parts from the earlier Shield figures from Elite 25 and Elite 26, if you have any of those. Possibly adjusted to fit boss man size, but I think anybody who grew up with the editor is going to want this figure of the boss man. Um... I just think it looks really good. Next up we have Tatanka, which is really nicely done. Uh, it comes with his tomahawk. Um, again, I didn't grow up with a lot of this stuff from the early uh, 90s, late 80s stuff, but I do like collecting these flashback at least because they are very nicely done. But um, I really like the colors on this figure. Um, it's got the nice blue, the red on the hair, the browns, the dark reds. I think it looks incredible. And that tomahawk is just really nice. And he's got the uh, old school block logo there. So yeah, that's Tatanka. A really cool looking figure, I think. 
Um, one that I wasn't super excited for, but I do think it looks really cool. Next up, we have the Elite Series 47 Kevin Owens. Um, I like the Elite 43 figure. I thought that figure was really good, but I really do like the way this new one looks. This head scan, to me, is probably the best uh, head scan that we've gotten for Kevin Owens so far. I liked the first base, uh, the first head scan that was on the basic and the original Elite. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the one that was on the basic that was shown off at Comic Con, and I have seen that one in person. I think it's okay, but this is easily the best of the three head scans in my opinion. And he comes with this little podium and the Universal Championship, which um, I know people do not like, but it's grown on me since it was unveiled at SummerSlam. Again, I do wish they could have done something different with it, but it, I am glad that Mattel got this belt as, quick, as quickly as they can, because I know people like um, uh, Showstopper Customs on Instagram has made custom versions of this using the... Uh, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt that came with the Elite 37 Brock Lesnar and the Toys R Us exclusive WrestleMania 31 Seth Rollins. Uh, follow Show uh, Customs on Instagram if you get the chance. He's got some really cool figures on there. But yeah, I really do like this Kevin Owens. Um, so yeah. And once again, he's got the, uh, the new Raw logo on the box. Next up, we've got Asuka, who is an NXT figure, much like the Elite 46 Finn Balor that I showed you guys before. Um, very nicely done, I have to say. Um, she only comes with her little entrance mask. I wish she came with her silk robe, but I do think that the paint job on this figure is amazing. Um, but yeah... I do kind of wish, though, they included the NXT Women's Championship with her, but I'm hoping we'll get that belt again at some point. But yeah, the paintwork on this figure is amazing. Just This was one that I was hoping that Mattel would get right when they uh, showed off the prototype or the digital render at uh, Comic-Con. I was hoping, God, I hope they get this right, and needless to say, they did. It looks great. I know some people are torn on the head scan, but... I think for a first attempt it's decent, but I'm hoping when they do the next one at some point uh, it'll be better. But in the meantime, I'm happy with the way this looks. Again, I don't watch NXT a whole lot, but I do like this figure. And last but not least, the figure from the set I know a lot of people were looking forward to, and this was the main reason why I pre-ordered this set back in November when I did. We have the Elite 47 AJ Styles, guys. Oh my god, this is a great figure. I don't think it's perfect. I think for their first AJ Styles Elite, I think this is good. Um, the head scan, I look at this, I see AJ Styles. Um, again, um, I know some people have had mixed feelings about this figure, primarily because of the torso choice. Again, you can't really see it because he's wearing his vest, but I think it's the same one that they use for guys like Daniel Bryan, I think. But, um, people do tend to forget that AJ is not a big guy. I mean, he is fairly muscular, and I do hope that when they do the next one, they'll maybe give him a better muscular torso. But I love the attire choice. This is mainly, I think, based off of his Royal Rumble 2016 debut. Um, I would have been fine with his WrestleMania 32 attire or an all-black and white attire, but this was pretty much my first choice when I began thinking about what an elite AJ Styles would look like when we first got him. And he does have his elbow pad as well. Um, but I love the blue, the white, and the black. I think it looks great. Uh, he only comes with his entrance vest. But yeah, the only other thing about this figure I do wish it had was the Phenomenal One logo inside the gloves. But I know the digital uh, prototype render at Comic-Con had that. And I'm a little disappointed this one doesn't have it, but... I can live with it, but I do think for their first Elite AJ Styles, this is a good a, fig, a good figure. I don't think it's perfect. I'm sure the next one, whenever we get that, will be even better. But for now, I'm happy with this figure. I'm so glad I was able to get it when I did. I know it's on back order until January on ringside.com. So for those of you who were lucky enough to get this figure when you did, props to you. I do love it. I think it's a great fig. One of my favorites of the year, I'd say. Again, it's a good first attempt, but I'm sure the next one will be even better. 
And he does have the new SmackDown Live logo on the box as well. But yeah. There you can see under ring attire it says January 2016. But yeah, that'll do it for this video guys. Again, we have uh, WrestleMania 3 and Global Warning Tour from Amazon. We have Elite 46 from and the Defining Moments figures from and uh, Elite 47 from RingsideCollectibles.com. So that'll do it for this video guys. Again, this is my last mail call, mailbag video, if you will, for the year of 2016. Next one will probably be in early to mid-January, but... Until then, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.